Hemodialysis is a life-saving treatment, but one that's harsh on patients. They must be hooked several hours per week to a machine that performs the blood filtering that their kidneys are unable to do. The dialysis limits a lot the life of patients. I have to come here three times a week for sessions of four hours each. It's a very invasive treatment, and I think the most important thing is to be emotionally prepared to deal with it. And the rising temperatures caused by climate change may have increased the number of people in need of this kind of treatment. A study made by São Paulo University School of Medicine crossed temperature data across Brazil with the incidence of kidney diseases in Brazil's public health system. The figures suggest that 200,000 additional patients had to be hospitalized with kidney problems between 2000 and 2015. Children aged 4 and under and the elderly over 80 years old were the worst affected. The children under four suffer because their metabolism is not yet fully developed to do jobs the body needs, and the elderly because they begin to lose the sense of thirst, the body loses efficiency to signal when it needs water. The authors of the study say urgent policies need to be implemented to mitigate the impacts of climate on people's health, especially on women, children and the elderly, who seem to be more susceptible to kidney problems caused by higher temperatures. The head of the Department of Nephrology, the branch of medicine specialized in kidneys, in this hospital says people also need to take their individual precautions, keep hydrated and be on the alert. In this study, we see an association between temperature and kidney diseases. Dehydration could explain this. To prevent serious problems, early diagnosis is very important. Kidney diseases evolve silently, with few symptoms, so higher-risk groups should have regular checkups. The need to deal with the impacts of climate change is becoming more urgent as time passes and temperatures rise. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, Santo André, Brasil.